Hey friends, my name is Tim. I'm part of the team at Cointracker. Today I'm going to show you some quick and easy steps on how to accurately file your taxes in like two minutes using Cointracker. Um, I get it. Crypto is super complicated. Taxes are stressful. So I just wanted to show you a few uh, basic steps that we can do to get you some quick peace of mind. All right, so let's go. Uh, you just purchased your tax plan, right? So let's go over, congratulations, by the way. Go over to your wallets page. And all I want you to do is this, we just need to make sure the house is in order. So what do I mean by that? Let's make sure all wallets and exchanges are synced. Um, this is really important, especially if you haven't been to Cointracker in a few months. Uh, it's just super, super important to make sure all the data is coming in fresh and connected. So this takes 30 seconds, but just go down the list and make sure it's uh, the exchanges and the wallets have been synced within the last 24 hours. You can also go over and press sync all over here, uh, and that should do the trick too. Um, the other thing I want you to do really quickly, and this takes another 10 seconds, um, I think, is you just need to make a mental note and make sure all your wallets and exchanges are synced to Coin Tracker. I can't tell you how many times uh, we've talked to users where they are only connecting the exchanges and wallets that they are currently using. That's not, that's not going to cut it. We need the whole picture. So all those wallets and exchanges you used during those like crazy wild west years, sync those as well. All right. And the last thing I want to do while you're on the wallets page, again, we're just making sure our house is in order before generating those forms is to make sure you don't have any balance differences on any of those wallets or exchanges. Well, what's a balance difference? It's this, it's this tiny, you see this like little informational eye? That's a balance difference flag. And if you click into it, you'll see that the calculated value is different from the reported value. Uh, you can click learn more and learn more about it in a help article. It's just important that we want everything to be as healthy as possible before generating the taxes because uh, that's how you get accurate tax forms. Again, we have a whole team dedicated to answering your questions on this too. So don't stress out if you see this. Okay, so we reviewed all our wallets. We made sure everything's connected. We've made sure everything's synced. Um, the only other thing I'd like to say is go down to your imported wallets and say like, okay, this has been updated recently or it hasn't. Just make sure if it if it needs to be updated. Uh, some people forget that CSVs require to be require. They don't automatically update themselves. So uh, that's one other thing that you should take a look out for. Once everything looks good, let's go over to your taxes page. And here we are. And the only other thing I want us to look at is at this lower right hand corner in the transaction summary. Take a look at there's three transactions that uh, we suggest to be reviewed. We call these transactions a needy review. Um, and all you need to do is click on them. This is basically Coin Tracker saying the math doesn't add up here. Please take a look because this can impact your taxes as well. Again, don't stress. It's okay. We see these all the time. They're usually quick and easy fixes. We have a whole team dedicated to helping you on this. Uh, for this, it's an insufficient quantity, so it's applying a zero cost basis. You can click on that, and then you can click learn more on how to uh, problem solve that. It can take, it can, it's not that big of a deal. You can address it, and again, we have a whole team ready to help you out. Okay, so we just addressed all three transactions that need to review. We cleared those errors. As you can see, there's nothing in the lower right hand side uh, in our tax center, so we're good to go, right? We have reached the finish line. So all you need to do is, here's your tax reports right over here. You can start generating them and it'll be emailed to you in just a few minutes. You can also connect to either H&R Block, TurboTax, Tax Caddy, all those options are there for you too. And then if you're really old school, you can just download your capital gain CSV. And that's it. We're done. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. And again, we're always here to help. Take care.